So today, since we already have the oven on, we're gonna go ahead and utilize that and um, cook the acorn squash for our side dish. Um, so first, I don't know if you're not familiar with acorn squash, just going to cut it. It's really hard, so, you know. Works well when you have a sharp knife. It does, which I don't have because I tend to cut myself. We're doing it in the oven since the oven's already on. I use a microwave, and I usually microwave mine. Kaylee doesn't use a and microwave because she's microwave better than microwave me. Microwave because I'm I'm a good hippie and I don't use microwaves. So, and then all these you can scoop these out, but they're actually really good to wash and save, and then you can plant them, which we were gonna do. So, I'll actually save these because we were gonna wash them and plant them for the springtime. So you just want to scoop out all the guts, like a pumpkin, or butternut squash, or whatever. We have a grapefruit spoon. It works really good for this because this takes a while sometimes. And then you can either leave it like this and stuff it with whatever you want, pecans and butter and maple syrup. Um, for this though, for Rayanne's side dish, I'm going to cut it like this so I don't slice my hand open. When you're going to roast the squash in the oven, you should plan ahead and put it in like an hour before you're going to eat, because mm -hmm. it takes a while. If you're just microwaving it, it only takes about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then the smaller you cut your chunks too, the less time it's going to take. So this isn't going to take as much time as it would if you're going to have it and, and stuff it. I like to stuff mine with a stuffing with sausage and rice, and it makes a whole meal. And I'm gonna get Kaylee some sharp knives for the like next holiday. Quite a workout. I really I cut myself. These knives are perfect for me. So here you have your pieces. Did you put water in your baking pan when you cut them? I would just put olive oil on them. You put olive salt oil and on pepper. Them? Maybe not pepper. But olive oil. How do you, salt. you just put them up like this? No, I would lay. Yeah, so I've never done it like this before. So just arrange them on your baking sheets. Give them some room and then season them how you want. I just want drizzled. So on this, we're just gonna kind of drizzle some olive oil on it. Kind of rub it around. And then just a little salt. I like the sea salt because it tastes better. And I personally really only like acorn squash if it's kind of um, sweet. So what I would do is probably just put some melted butter over it and then um, 
like I said, maybe put some maple syrup on it or honey. Honey or molasses. Yeah, molasses really might be good. And then pecans and raisins and all sorts of things. Pecans kill my husband, so. Oh, that's true. We they can't do. use them. <laughs> so, but not in my house. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> all right. And then. We need to move we'll that lower rack that. Down. Yeah, we can lower the rack down. in the same oven with our beautiful chicken. You want to see our chicken? It's looking pretty good, I think. It does look It's good. almost done. Okay. So then you're going to let that go for probably 45 minutes to an hour. And that's th at 350.